Hey guys, I thought I should make a quick video and talk about my league starter for Sentinel and also talk about the dominating blow which I think could become a meta thing. And the reason for that is because in Sentinel all the rare and magic monster modifiers are going to be replaced with the new Arch Nemesis modifiers. For example, this thing is not going to have, have like, like crazy auras or stuff like that but instead going to have like um, Gargantuan, Sentinel, Arcane Buffer and these modifiers alone can be much stronger than uh, previous like old modifiers and Dominating Blow is uh, well using magic and rare monsters corpses and then copies where all modifiers uh, it didn't copy Nemesis modifiers like um, let's say Inner Treasure or um, Soul Eater let's say uh, but it did copy Auras before but now we're not gonna have Auras to copy but these can be stronger than before I would say and previously magic monsters did not have auras but now they are gonna have certain modifiers as well certain arch nemesis modifiers which could make them a lot stronger I'm not 100% sure but I think it was confirmed that dominating blow will be able to steal these so imagine this dominating blow you can have up to one rare dominated minion sentinel uh, with the helmet enchantment you can have up to two so imagine you have two minions with like four modifiers you can have up to four modifiers with some other shenanigans and imagine having two minions like that two minions with some crazy four modifiers of course they would have duration and once you kill a new rare it would be replaced but then again I'm thinking maybe even magic um, sentinels could be stronger because we could well they would have their own modifier and then they could steal new modifiers with the head like there's probably gonna be a separate tiers or separate modifiers for magic and rare monsters because we can only have one of the same modifier for example uh, gargantuan it's not gonna be able to steal multiple gargantuan mods but if let's say a magic monster cannot get gargantuan mod it can have their own modifiers and then steal on top gargantuan and then keep stealing new modifiers from rares that it cannot normally have or maybe it's going to be replaced oh I, I guess it's going to be replaced with the new modifier either way it I think could potentially be very strong now dominating blow I think is in a good spot but personally I haven't really played with it all that much I only briefly tried it at some point but I think I haven't done a video but uh, it has been done in the past by our content creators and uh, our players and um, the numbers also do look kind of okay without any big investments. The, I will include this path for building import code but know that this is just like a rough plan. I don't even want to add more items because I just wanted to see like the baseline. You can always improve it over time. I was going with two-handed weapon but it seems like Scourge is more popular and it just beats two-handed weapon very easily. The Scourge could be also expensive early on but I hope that it's not too expensive. If the Scourge is going to be expensive I'm probably going to go with two-handed. Maybe the the Chaber Cairn weapon early on. It should be cheap and it should be a decent option. It has a bit low attack speed so it's not the best. Uh, but it should work well. And the idea is to go pure physical, uh, get behead, although behead maybe not, maybe it's not gonna be needed, but I will add it anyway, and behead only works against enemies that are on low life, well, the damage part. Uh, rootless, brutality, those things making them faster, uh, this is also gonna affect you as well, so multi-strike, faster attacks, I'm gonna be swapping melee, uh, rootless with melee splash, actually, for clear speed, and, um, you don't really need anything too crazy like you could buy a just generic 16 body armor craft some life resistances and you're good to go the rest of the items i also didn't really want to add anything too crazy just like the base large cluster jewel just uh, with the minion things just to get the medium i think the medium jewels add a lot more value like i said this is not a finished build i will figure it out as i go uh, this is just like a, my uh, rough plan how to start with this I am probably going to be using Poacher's Mark because it also will help, well I will be able to trigger it automatically. It's going to drain mana but it shouldn't be a problem because Poacher's Mark also has mana on hit uh, and life on hit so it should be pretty useful. And it gives flat physical damage to all your minions. Can go on with Feeding Frenzy for a bit more damage. Uh, Held of Purity also with a couple links behind just to steal more stuff I guess. Uh, Maim also does give damage. 
uh, Calling Strike, but you you don't really need to link anything held up here to with, just have them as uh, an extra things and then link, um, I guess, Scaren Golem with uh, Maim and Culling Strike. For defenses, shield with uh, life on block, uh, trying to get a decent block chance. I believe I don't have enough uh, spell block chance. Where is the block chance? It's somewhere. I swear it's somewhere. There it is. <laughs> so, we definitely want to get more spell block chance. If I could squeeze in Tempest Shield, it would be nice. I could, but that's with the two small cluster jewels and it would still need more like enlighten but i don't want to add enlighten just for that so while haze can also add quite a bit of damage uh you do need to make sure you that you get enough dexterity and i guess going for a resolute technique so you don't need to worry about um, missing but you do need enough attack speed for dominating blow and you yourself are not really gonna be focusing on doing damage so i guess you even need region life on hit or some other regeneration method like this one every four seconds you get healed for 30 percent of your hp i'm not sure if garden is the best but my idea was to play templar at level 28 test the dominating blow if they can steal those arch nemesis mod modifiers go with that if not then switch to divine ire which i also plan and I chose Divine Art because I, I didn't want to think what to play. I made this list. I already made a video about this. I did um, improve this thing. Uh, it basically just says which skills I use the least and, and which skills I rated to be good or, or just okay. And then from that list I just choose which skills I kind of want to play. I put them in here and then wrote like a quick notes what kind of build I would want to play. And basically just hit a randomizer to pick from this list and then it hit uh, Divine Ire. I did want to play Divine Ire Totem so why not League start with it but it just doesn't really have much damage on a very very small budget. But then again Dominating Blow is also pretty cheap to start with. It just could be a bit weak at the start before you get enough minions. So yeah, if Dominating Blow is gonna work I'll play Dom Dominating Blow. If not then I'll switch to Divine Ire. Uh, we'll link Loot Path of Building import code I guess to Divine Ire as well but it's not really not really optimized like a rough idea uh for now that's gonna be it thank you for watching uh have a good league launch and i'll see you after the league start bye bye